While its performance seems unstoppable, you will eventually have to charge your Bobcat T7X all-electric loader's high-voltage battery pack. We're going to show you how. First, let's cover a few pointers for safely and correctly charging your battery. Always remember to refer to your operation and maintenance manual for proper charging procedures. Remember to always use a Bobcat-approved battery charging harness. Never charge the machine in the rain or while exposed to water, and never leave live cables on the ground when the machine is not actively charging. Similar to the auto industry, the approved main power supply for the optimal charging rate is a 240-volt, 50-amp electrical outlet. On this type of outlet, you can expect a full recharge in about 12 hours. Return to your charging site before the battery charge level becomes critically low. Turn the machine off. The battery charging port can be found at the left rear of the machine, directly below the rear section of the lift arms. Open the charge port cover by opening the cover latch. All charging connectors should be clean and dry. If necessary, use compressed air to remove debris from the connections. Do not use tools, chemicals, or solvents such as alcohol or benzene. These may damage the connector. Remove the charge port cap. Connect the Bobcat-approved portable EVSE cable to a 240-volt outlet. Then, securely connect the cable to the machine charging port. Lastly, look inside the cab to verify that the touchscreen shows the charging display. Indicator lights on the EVSE cable provide you with a quick view of the charging status. The blue indicator will pulse on or off every two seconds during charging. When plugged into the wall socket, the blue light indicates the charger is ready to use. The red indicator illuminates when the charger detects an error. If the red indicator illuminates, the error must be corrected before a charging cycle can begin or continue. The amber indicator illuminates to indicate the charger is rebooting after an error. When charging is complete, disconnect the portable EVSE cable before operating the machine. Unplug the EVSE cable from the T7X first, then remove the cable from the main power supply. Store the EVSE cable off of the ground and in a safe place. Reinstall the charge port cap, close and latch the cover. Now, you're ready for another round of work with your Bobcat T7X compact loader. For more information, see your manual or visit bobcat.com.